Oh, I, I had it on mute the whole time because I'm not very intelligent sometimes. Uh, let me let me make sure that uh, people can hear me real quick because sometimes my my headphones like to. There we go. There we go. What? He said he blew up a checkpoint at Denver QZ, killed three soldiers, and two civilians. Jesus. He also told me that he and Tommy slow tortured some big Fedra general. I don't know. I, I don't buy Tommy doing that, though. He could do worse. What do you mean? He and Joel did a lot to survive after the outbreak. Oh, uh, let, let's turn off the light first. Uh, it's creepier that way. Um, also, uh, you're going to hear a timer go off here pretty shortly. Uh, it's it's going to be... I, I got, I, I'm, I've got laundry going, so i got to do laundry while I'm doing this. All right. Da -da -da. Da -da -da. We're dead. Just kidding. There's not even so much as a, an enemy in here. But we're going to explore everything. Yeah, I know where to go. Shut up. I know where to go. I know where to go. Thank you for telling me, but I'm good. Thank you. Uh, weird how they have all the things stacked this way, but you can still go this way. I guess it's to limit fucking limit folks from coming in. We're full on that. Let's check for everything. We always check everything. Why? Because it is a role-playing game. Okay. Okay, that's chained off. Alright, we checked there. Do do do, skiddly dee 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 dee, skiddly dee, skiddly dee, dee dee dee, skiddly dee 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 dee. No, can't go that way. Dee 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 dee. We live in fame, we'll go down in flames. Hey, nothing will stop the U.S. Chair Force. Anything in here we can worth getting? Nope. Okay. Like I said, we always check. Gotta check everything. And... Oh, wait, hold on, see? This is why we check everything. Nope, nothing in there, though. Uh, how about in here? Probably nothing in there. Look at that, a big fat pile of goddamn nothing. Hey, found a generator. Boom. Boom. Oh, that's butter. Oh, wow. Impressive workbench, Eugene. I bet you could mod your gun with this gear. I'm pretty sure everything is already completely upgraded, but let's double check. Yep. Yep, everything is upgraded. Can't upgrade anymore. Okay. Wait, so wait, if it's New Game Plus, where is my... Oh, that's right, you don't get that shit until you go to Seattle. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna say, I know I got more weapons than this and shit. Hmm. Alright, yep, okay, let's go, Dina. Oh, hello. Look at the floor. There's yeah, no see. stuff down there. You see okay. way down? Not here. All right. 
live in flame or go down in flames. Hey, nothing to stop the Jewess chair for. What's he got down here? Well, it's obviously a sex den. That's why he didn't tell you about it. It's weed. I hope it's a sex den. For his sake. He was so lonely, man. Dead weed. This explains a lot. This makes me want to cry, but only because, like, fucking, it's all dead now, and you can't do anything with it. And yeah, nope, not yet. We gotta check everything first. Look at that. Hey, he's got that videotape thing. Huh. Dong of the Wolf. Smash Brandy's cooch. Are these? It's porn. <laughs> Interesting taste, Eugene. Of course, Smash Brandy's cooch is uh, Crash Bandy cooch. Bandy cooch. Maria would lose her shit if she saw Bandit? this place. How'd he get this Yeah, together? it's a PlayStation reference. Must have taken him forever. I wish he told me about this. Could have yeah, helped we, him out. Yeah, we could have helped him out. Gotten high. Gas mask, bong, baby. Dina. It's a gas mask bong. Oh, God, he was so smart. Oh, that's pretty old there, kids. But, yeah, you wouldn't know that. You were born uh, after the outbreak. So, of course you wouldn't know about that. I think, I think that's everything you can get. All the collectibles. Just let's let's double check everything. I got I gotta say though, like this makes me weep, but not because it's a lot of weed. It makes me weep because it's a lot of wasted goddamn weed. Oh, there we go. You think it's still good? Does weed go bad? Mm hmm. Let's find out. Yes, children, it can and does, especially in flower form. Reason being, mold can grow on it, and it's not the kind of mold you want to be inhaling. Especially in the world of The Last of Us, where mold could be the cordyceps. Now, granted, Ellie is immune. And this particular uh, jar is sealed pretty tight, so it should be okay. But seeing as how it wasn't airtight, it's a possibility that shit went bad, depending on how long Eugene's been dead. So, children, if you are watching this and have any concept of what weed is like, yes, weed can go bad. Check your weed. Check your stashes. Okay? Especially if you've had it for longer than a couple of months. The drying out process helps with that. Okay? But if it gets any bit of moisture in it whatsoever, you're fucked. It, it, it can go bad and you can get very sick from it. So be careful. You having a hard time? Oh, I got it. <clears throat> Fuck. Give me that. Oh, yeah. Like you're gonna get it. <sighs> okay. It's... Yeah. <sighs> Fuck it. I also like how this is kind of like a reference to like everyday life. Like, the, the, the cliche that, like, you need a man around to open up fucking jars and shit. Women can't do that by themselves. And then 
they're just like, fuck it, let's just smash it. Now, she could have been smarter about it. She could have smashed it on the counter so that not a lot of those fucking joints were wasted. I think it was kind of stupid to throw it on the floor. But when you're frustrated and you're not really thinking all that clearly, it makes sense. What the fuck is wrong with you? I got it open, didn't I? Boy, did you. Smells good. Don't waste the rest of it. What's wrong with okay. you? Pick up them fucking joints. And we struck here a while, right? I will say, though, I, I don't think, unless it's like in a safe environment like this, I would not be able to handle being high in the world of The Last of Us. A safe environment like this, or, or back at Jackson with the, with the gates closed and everything, could probably handle it no problem. But out in the wild, could not do it. Holy sheep shit. Because what the thing is, is that what people don't tell you about weed is it doesn't just, it doesn't just fucking, it doesn't like give you revelations. It doesn't. What it does is it lowers your revelation threshold. Like by a significant fucking amount. And if you stop to think about how crazy the world is in the world of The Last of Us and how terrifying it is, how terrifying the, some of the infected are, like clickers and bloaters and, and other forms of infected that you find out later in the game, you would be paralyzed with fear. Like, for instance, I cannot go to an amusement park high. I can do it sober, and I can ride the rides all day long for the most part. There's a few rides it's like, eh, I'm kind of sketched out about even when, I'm, even when I'm sober. But for the most part, I can ride most anything sober. You get me high and take me to an amusement park, I turn into the biggest fucking coward. I found that out a few years ago. And it was, it was, it was, it was Jesus. But like in this world, it, there's no way I could handle it. I wouldn't be able to handle it. I'd be paralyzed with fear the entire time. Anyhow, uh, I'll shut the fuck up now. Totally trapped. I'm still pissed that they're wasting all the rest of it. Can I ask you Wait. a question? I don't know, can you? Scale of one to ten. One being like absolute trash. And ten being life altering. How would you rate our kiss from last night? Why are we still talking about this? You said it was a mistake. Did I say that? Because she's into you, you dolt. I asked you to rate our kiss. I don't know. I give it a six. A six? Wow. Like a solid six. Okay. There are a lot of people. That manipulation right there, because she obviously wants more. Obviously, it's it's duh. But like, really? Really? And, and Ellie fell for it. Now, granted, she wanted to fall for it, but still. Around. Yeah, but six. Oh, what? I mean, now I really want to know how you'd rate it. I don't think you do. You're infuriating. Have you met you? You make me want to go back outside to that blizzard. Stopping you. This better be better than a six.
Go Ellie, go Ellie, get your groove on, get your groove on. Oh, oh, go Ellie. Oh shit, we're going back to Abby now. Damn it. Wait, wait, wait. Have I been doing this wrong the entire time? Can, can I take out some of these guys and, and, and just skip it entirely? Oh shit. Time to run. Got a jet. Get up there. What are you doing? You dumb bitch. I think I missed the collectible back there. Shit. Get off me, bitch. Get off me, bitch. Goodbye. Yeah. 
does is where we go. I reckon we go out the back. We got to break the log. Hey, you got a gun? Yeah. Well, I hope you're a good shot. Keep up with us. We gotta warn everyone. Come back with a cleanup crew. We gotta live through this first. Watch them windows. Come on, let's do this. Up there, the window. That's our way out. You see a way out there? Here, use this. Hey, girl! Push it up onto the cart. Get off me, bitch! Get off me, bitch! Well, fuck beans. It's a good thing I'm not playing on grounded mode. Let's go! Hurry! I got you. Take close to us! Where are we going? It's this one. Come on! Jesus H. Fucking Christ. That's a tense situation. Abby, are you okay? Yeah. That ain't gonna hold. We gotta go back. We're gonna outrun them all the way to Jackson. We need to barricade that door. Tommy, we cannot stay here. The horses ain't making it all that way. My friends. My friends are at a mansion just north of here. It's fenced in. We have the whole perimeter secure. It's a ball room, please. I could work. All right. I'll get the door. Ride with me. Come on.
Dude. That's a situation ain't nobody want to be in. Especially my fat ass. I would die in I seconds. When I was 12, I found a skateboard. Uh-oh. And I tried to get on it. And it shot right out from underneath me. <laughs> Wait, how did you get the scar? I fell on my knife. <laughs> Okay. Um, a chemical burn. Mm. I died myself. Why? Uh, to cover a bite mark? Right here. I got jumped by an infected when I was 14. And it turns out I'm immune. So it healed with a ring of fucked up teeth marks and cysts and- Ow! Fuck you. What? Uh, hey! <laughs> I told you a real fucking story. I did tell you a real fucking story. Oh, you want a bite mark? What? Do you hear that? Jesse? Just stay there, okay? Are you just, okay? Just, will What's you wait, going on? please? What? Just turn around. What are you doing? Are you kidding me? See, that level of candor right there is something that Joel told her never, ever to do. And she hasn't done it. What? It's been, it's been four years since the beginning of the game, right? She's known them for years, and she's just now telling them, telling her, telling Dina. Of course, Dina doesn't believe her, but I mean, fuck, dude. Like, it's just, it's one of those things, and it's like, I'm kind of surprised that, like, that she did it, you know? I don't know. It's weird. Um, my alarm's about to go off. I need to go check the laundry. I will be right back.
Okay, so I that, uh, had to had to switch the laundry over and then discovered that I'm a dumbass and forgot to start the washer or I didn't hit the button hard enough. I don't know. I'm not sure which. So let's keep You're going. You're supposed to be on patrol. There's a blizzard outside. Is that weed? Why are you here? People are counting on you. You get that? What we do matters. Well, then why aren't you at the fucking lookout? Because Tommy and Joel didn't show up. What do you mean? We waited for them for an hour. I was looking for their horses when I saw lights. Maybe they just went back to town. Without being replaced, no way. How much of their region have you covered? Not much. Then we split up. Go at it from different sides, and we can cover the whole thing in a few hours. I don't like you riding solo. We don't know what's out there. Exactly. What if they need help? Okay, I'll head west, Dina can take south, and you come from the east, but be smart about it, yeah? Don't tell me what to do, motherfucker. I'm just kidding. I like you, Jesse. You're a good guy. Hashtag justice for Jesse. I mean, you're doing them a favor, but fuck, that's got to be a painful way to die. Let's get inside! Now, a lot of folks who are detractors of this game will talk shit about how Joel would have never, would have never fucking given their names out, or neither would have Tommy, you know? Joel, Joel wouldn't fucking be stupid enough. He's made enough enemies in his life that, like, he'd be a little smarter about giving out their real names, or even giving out their names, for that matter. And while that has some merit, I want, I want to point out, it's been four years, okay? Joel has been in what is the closest thing to civilization where everybody cooperates together and tries to work together towards a common goal, which is to keep everybody safe, keep everybody fed, keep everybody housed, keep everybody warm during the winter, you know, not dying of heat stroke in the summer. Well, I, I can't imagine any of the goddamn air conditioning units still work. Um... And especially in Jackson at this point. Uh, as a matter of fact, I, I don't even think Jackson... Wyoming, except for, like, hotels and shit, generally doesn't have a lot of, like, air conditioning units out there because of the type of weather that they're used to. They're, they're not used to, like, ridiculously hot temperatures. Now, granted, global warming has changed that, but, like, in the 50s and 60s, folks moved out there because it wasn't that warm. It wasn't that cold. Or, not that cold, that hot. And, and in those in the winter times it got cold so they, they they made sure to have heaters but you know fucking who needs who needs fucking who needs fucking air conditioning units it's not that hot Colorado has a lot of that too like there's a lot of houses out there still in Colorado to this day uh, like uh, Colorado Springs for instance Colorado Springs doesn't have a lot of air conditioning units uh, built into a lot of those houses because it never really got that warm um, but Again, that has since changed. Global warming, catastrophe. In this universe, I think a lot of the damage that humans have done to the Earth, with the exception of maybe the areas that probably got nuked, because i got to imagine at some point some fucking idiot shot a nuke out of the city to destroy the infected and just ended up creating mutated infected. And I'm, probably gonna, I'm pretty sure we're going to meet that into the fucking... In, meet some of that shit in the the next game at some point like some fucking glowing bloater or 
something or a clicker that's fucking like got six f- heads fused to it or something. I don't know. I- I'm just saying somebody had to have been stupid enough to throw a nuke. With the exception of those areas, a lot of the damage that humans have done to the environment has been since corrected for the most part in this universe. Though I have to point out that this place probably doesn't have any fucking electricity, if only for the fact that, like, even if it had, like, solar panels, it's a blizzard out. That shit wouldn't be putting out much in the way of light or heat. So I'm assuming the light is probably from, like, a fireplace or something, or or lanterns or something. They scared us. I know. How are you guys doing? We're good. Thanks. Yeah. Can I talk to you for a minute? You want to get those saddles off? No, no, it's all right. We'll just ride out the storm and we'll get out here. Ah, I missed that the first few times I played it. I'd always wondered how they had traveled out here to Jackson, Wyoming from Seattle, Washington. Um, I don't know if you know, that's a, that's a big fucking distance. That's a long distance. Matter of fact, uh, hey Google, how far is Seattle, Washington from Jackson, Wyoming? So by car, that's 860 miles. And that's that's not including car troubles they may have experienced, everything else. But if you look, if you look closely here, you see the barrels in the back? It shows me where they got their fuel. Um, and, and diesel is, it's not easy to make, but it is easier than trying to synthesize gasoline. So, um, yeah. Nothing. Hey, you have no idea. I don't get electricity in here. Where the fuck have you been? There are solar panels on the roof. Who are these people? How long y'all been here? Since yesterday. Yesterday. Yep. What are y'all doing out this way? I'm just passing through. You two live nearby? We do. A few hours down the hill. Y'all should come back with us, restock before we head out. Appreciate it. I'm Mel, by the way. Tommy. This is my brother. Joe. Y'all look like you heard of us or something. Because they have. No! Laura? All clear? He's out. Put him against the wall. Tommy! Get off me! Get off me! Here's the other thing too. Here's the thing. He could have lied. Th- that's something. That's something that would have like w- his, even even in his current like, hey, you know, I've been living in civilization for so long that I've, I'm not out of there. He could have been like, no man, I'm fucking Joel Thompson. Why the fuck did you shoot me? Cause sh- none of these people know what Joel looks like. And, and maybe Joel doesn't know that for sure, but he's got to suspect at least, like, hey, these people don't know who I really am. They heard the gnome name Joel. Now, at, at this point, they could have just, he could have just chalked it up to a misunderstanding, but, and it's possible with the shock and trauma of getting shot in the knee that, you know, it fucks up his judgment a little bit, but, like, he could have been like, no, I'm Joel Thompson. Or I'm Joel Maloney. Or I'm Joel fucking Jingleheimer Schmidt. 
There's no way. She, she doesn't know what he looks like. She never got to see him. So how the fuck did she know exactly that it was him? She could have she could have easily fucking asked a few questions, a few more leading questions to make the the tent and build up the tension just a little bit more. I feel like this part right here, like that that part of it right there just kind of bugs me a little bit cuz it just it seems to me kind of like lazy writing and just it just always oh, a coincidence, you know? Like she could have befriended him a little bit, you know, spent spent a day or two with them and and gone to Jackson and then, you know, and then finally, you know, he, he lets slip that he knew somebody in the Fireflies named Marlene or somebody. Somebody dropped a name that somebody knew. And then she knows. And then she would have a better moral quandary to deal with. Uh, th- that's, that's my criticism of it. It's not, it's not that, that they killed Joel. That, that they were at some point his chickens were going to come home to roost that's just how it is he he killed a lot of fucking folks he's killed a lot a lot of folks in this game in this game in the first game he killed a lot of uh, fucking folks i'm sure within the 20 years that he survived you know from from the time that his daughter died to the time that he fucking to to we till we meet him in the very first game like he he's killed He's probably filled entire graveyards full of folks. So at some point, somebody was going to come after him, whether it was Abby or somebody else. But you'd think he would have he would have had some kind of contingency plan. Because he knows he didn't kill all of the fireflies before he left. There's no way he fucking didn't know that. No, you dumb bitch. I'm Joel Thompson. Like, that, that's all he had to say. Guess. You say whatever speech you got rehearsed. Get this over with. Turn to get his leg. Do it. You got to go up to go down. You're okay. You're okay. Oh, there it is. Joel? Tommy! 
I love how they give you hope with gathering ammo and shit. Gathering ammo, gathering surprise inside. They give you hope that maybe you can turn this whole situation around. Despite the fact that you're outnumbered. Despite the fact that you don't know where you're get what you're getting into. They still try to give you hope. Somebody was playing chess. Probably recently. Why aren't you posted up outside? We didn't think anyone was gonna show up. What the hell did you expect? We gotta get out of here, or the whole town's on top of us. You're done. You want what I want, right? End it. Now. Joel, get up. Joel, fucking get up. Please stop! Please don't shoot! Joel, please get up! No! 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 Bad time to make a joke, but I'm going to make it anyway. That's a hell of a fucking golf club to be going through all of that. And not bending. I'm just saying. Obviously it was a rich man's house, but fuck. That is a top quality goddamn golf cube or a golf club, whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> That kick right there could have killed her. He did not pull that kick back either. Ellie. Ellie. I'm sorry. Jesse! They're down here! Look at that shit. That shit is gorgeous.
Could I sit down, please? Yeah. Marie wants to make sure you're eating. She can't stop us. <clears throat> they have the guys that we would need to do this smart. We'd be leaving Jackson vulnerable. So they just get to get away with this? Nobody wants that. Yeah, but that's what's happening. What if we get hit by hunters again? Is this you talking or is this her? It's a valid point. If it were you or me, Joel would be halfway to Seattle already. No, he wouldn't. He absolutely fucking would be. Well, we don't even know for certain that they're from Seattle. Washington Liberation Front. That's what you said was on those patches. What if they stole those jackets? That's... What the <sighs> WLF move? What are you doing? You know what? I'm leaving tomorrow. And if you want to come with me, great. You have no idea what you're walking into. You don't know how large that group is, how armed... I don't care. You can't talk me out of this. Give me a day to talk to Maria. Okay. There's got to be some folks you can spare. And if she won't budge? <laughs> well, I'll figure something out. One day. Please. He loves her almost as much as Joel did. Hell, probably even more now. This is an excellent opportunity to stop because my recordings for some reason can only go up to an hour so I'm gonna stop right here I'm going to take a break I need to fold some clothes before uh, it gets too much longer and then I will come back as soon as I'm done folding the clothes so this is good time to stop we're gonna save right here and we're gonna stop for now <laughs>